Begin Podfix Network transmission. In three, two, Whether you're flying in a stream, getting those ankles wet, or deep in the ocean, casting nets, fish nerds. Fish nerds. Fish nerds. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. Good. Good. Good day to you, friends. Hello, Fish Nerds. Clay Groves here, Chief Executive Fish Nerd, Licensed Fishing Guide, your best friend, and we've done it. We've got to the very end of National Podcast Posting Month, third year in a row. Yeah. First year, three years ago, we did, we did the theme was Fish in the News, which was my favorite one so far. Last year, we did Fishy Jokes, not as fun as I thought it was going to be. And this year, we did Fishing Tips. And it was fun. I really enjoyed it. And it was hard. Doing a podcast every day is a challenge. And I don't prepare ahead of time. So almost every episode was either done on the day it was released, like for like it was the 30th, it was done on the 30th, or it was done late and I had to play catch up to get caught up. But we got through it and we did it together. And we thank you. Now it's December starting tomorrow. Back to your regularly scheduled podcast. I'm trying to get two episodes out a month, two hour-long episodes out a month. That's the goal as we move forward. I don't have time. I don't have time to keep them going uh, every week right now because a full-time job. You never know. Maybe I'll get three out. Uh, we'll keep. We'll keep. We'll keep trying. Um, but we do appreciate you. I've got a lot of content that I have sitting in the in the archives. I got some interviews from Doc Martin. I've got some stuff from uh, other people too. So that's coming up. Something to look forward to. And I do want to still give you a tip I want to talk about today. I want to talk about how to make a fishing podcast that's not boring. <laughs> and I hope if you listen to the Fish Nerd, you listen because it's not boring. There are a ton of fishing podcasts on the internet, and most um, are good. Most are good, but most aren't my style. I don't listen to most fishing podcasts because... I don't want to hear about bass fishing for three hours a week, and I don't want to hear how to fish very often. I like I like storytelling. I like funny people. Uh, what I don't like from fishing podcast is like super macho, yeah, bro kind of shows. So that's not my style. So here's how you can make a fishing podcast, and we do need you to make them. There are not enough podcasts out there. Some of my favorites before I get into it, um, my, my top two fishing podcasts I listen to, Number one, besides the fish nerds, is Lure Love, which of course I love. So if you're not subscribed to that already. The other one I really love is called Fish of the Week. It's from the National Wildlife Service, and they put out it's just a fish of the week. It's an expert talking about specific species. I like the nerdier kind of stuff, a little more light and fun as well. So here's how you make a fishing podcast. And by the way, if you're planning on making money from it or having listeners, maybe you want to partner with Orvis before you start your podcast. But here's how you do it. You grab any kind of recording equipment you have and grab a buddy or a friend or do it by yourself and push record and start talking. And your first couple episodes will be terrible. There's a lot of podcasts out there about how to make a podcast, how to get on the internet. Uh, and then just keep going and do it over and over and over again. I'll tell you what, though. The Lure Love podcast doesn't have a bad episode, and I'll tell you why. It's because they started practicing with the fish nerds. Like they, were, they were with the fish nerds first they got their feet under them. They knew what they were doing. And with Tim Beat and Crappy Hippie, you never get you never get a boring show. You always get wonderful stuff. But it's okay to make a boring show because the only way to get better at it is to do it over and over and over again. If you want to have listeners for your podcast, you don't want to do what the fish nerds do. You don't want to talk about fish fishing and eating fish. You want to niche down. You want to be specific. You know what podcasts get the most downloads? For fishing shows, uh, fly fishing shows. And more specifically, like trout fishing, fly fishing. And if you want to get more specific, like Tenkara, the Tenkara Bomb podcast, I think that's what it's called, gets a lot of downloads. Um, anyway, push record, make your show, put it on the internet. Uh, you'll need to find a host and then and then put it out there. And then check your stats. You'll see you got two listeners, which is really good because that's all you want for your first episode. And then do it again. Um, it's, it's really that simple. Uh, if you want to get better sound quality, which should be the goal, if you make, if you want listeners, um, maybe you want to get a good microphone. I use the ATR2100. I record using Audacity, which is free software you can download. 
Um, I got a little fancier. We've had Patreon supporters now for a few years, so we had a little money. So I bought a Rodecaster Pro mixing board, which is why I can mix in sound effects like, you know, oh yeah, that's the fish music I want to, or our, our, you know, a fish in the news thing. I could do that with my mixing board. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary. It doesn't give you more listeners. It's just more fun for you as an editor. Um, once you get your podcast made, you need to promote it. So make a Facebook page or group and get going with it. It's easy as that. I will recommend you don't use Anchor as your podcast host because if you use Anchor, they own your podcast and you don't have any control over it. So find another host. I use Libsyn, um, which is a little pricey, but it works really well for the fish nerds. It gets us everywhere into everyone's podcatchers, gets us on Stitcher and Spotify and all the places. But that's it. Um, Tim Beat and I were talking about putting together a top 10 list on how to make a good fishing podcast. I think we might spend some real time on that. Uh, But for now, just make a podcast. Make the show you want to make. If you're listening to other fishing podcasts, you're going, you know what they're not doing? They're not talking about this the way I want to talk about it. Well, you could be that person. You want to make a, a podcast all about the best fishing knots. Do the Fishing Knot podcast. You want to do the podcast about how to catch the most minnows. Do the minnow catching podcast. There's cat fishing podcasts, all kinds of fun fishing podcasts out there you can totally dig in on. There's lots of ice fishing specific podcasts for your rice fisher person. So get in it, make them, send them to me. Come on my show, promote them. I'll promote any fishing podcast. We need more of them out there. So that's it. And uh, more importantly, just have some fun hanging out with your friends. And, uh, and that's how this whole month was for me. It was me hanging out with you, being your friend for 30 days in a row, which is too many days in a row for, <laughs> for most people to hang out with me. My own family can't do 30 days in a row, but you did it. Congratulations. And again, we thank everybody for participating in National Podcast Posting Month. And now I'm thinking back to this show. I did not organize it well. I didn't plan it well. So this is not an example of how to make a good podcast. And didn't really give you any really good tips either. Mostly it was me just using up the 30th day and thanking you for tuning into the Fish Nerds podcast and making sure that you are well aware that there are other great fishing podcasts out there. If you've got a great fishing podcast and you want to come on this one, come on and we can, uh, we can totally get you on our show and promote your podcast right here on the Fish Nerds. Back in December with some more full-length Fish Nerds podcasts. Bye. Whether you're fly fishing in a stream, getting those ankles wet, or deep in the ocean casting nets, fish nerds, fish nerds, fish nerds, it's a podcast. Just for the hell of it! Fried in a basket or broiled in a pan, eat it raw like you're in Siam, fish nerds, fish nerds, fish nerds. It's a podcast.